Ah, time for another story. All right, this one's called Vendetta. American designated marksman James sits perched on a hill overlooking a squad of Germans. His personal mission was simple, take out the officer. James knew this, but he was also a man of duty and more importantly, war. Too many times he had seen his friends overrun, beaten, and slaughtered. Today he would change that. Today he would be the victor and there would be no one escaping that squad which he now overlooked. The shot echoed through the French forest, missing to the right. Then the gunner turned and released a volley of fire into the woods, peppering the trees. The gunner resumed scanning the woods, desperate to find the assassin. The soldier nervously regripped his weapon, but James stayed hidden among the bark, leaves, and trees. He cocked the rifle and sighted again, this time on the gunner, to prevent him from releasing another volley of fire. He breathed in, steady, released his breath, and fired again hitting the gunner in the skull and bringing him down. The officer, breathing heavily, reached into his jacket and instead of drawing a gun, drew dog tags as a bullet whizzed over his head. He heard another shot and the soldier collapsed dead to his side. Wearily, the officer rose to his feet holding the tags in one hand and walked out into the open. Marksman James saw this. The expression on his face changed. A deep anger and hatred filled him. The officer had stolen a tag, a trophy, if you will. He hated this thought. How low could a man go? In that moment of hatred, he recited the gun, breathed in, and released his breath. The shot once again echoing through the French forest, and once again a man crumpled. Not dead yet, as the shot hit him in the gut. The marksman walked down from his perch and confronted the dying enemy. The dog tags were still in the officer's hands. The officer looked into the eyes of the marksman and spoke. We're American, undercover. The officer took one final look to the sky and then slumped over dead. The marksman was astonished. He looked around. All the bodies were holding tags signifying secretly who they were working for. James dropped to his knees and let out a sad, no. But that's just a story. <laughs>